Lang is up in the sixth. Still not anywhere near being out of this. Still a lot of bowling left. But he needs to get something going. He has an open in the fifth. Only one strike so far in this final match. 27 games of qualifying. They cut to the round of 60 or the round of 32. Best four out of seven that first round. Another ball light. Right now, Lonnie Wallachuk's reaction looks very suspect. Having trouble getting the ball to the pocket now. This ball gets too far to the right. Down the lane. There's not enough grip down the lane when you get it that far to the right to get the ball to peel back from there. Trick here is you want to get the ball to the left side of the, the two pins from the two of the ten. The ball take care of the four. Nope. Second open frame in a row. You know, and just not the thing you want to do, especially against a Doug Kent under, this, under these circumstances. World championship title at stake. And he has had such a marvelous week. He's pulled great all week long. Right now, he needs to suck it up and do whatever he has to do to get the ball to the pocket. Just will the pins down. Just get in there, start mixing it up. Just good old mm -hmm. smash mouth bowling, man. Just it. bring it right now. Nothing to lose. Trails by 35. Just seems to have a little bit of a lug nuts or loosen it up a little bit on this uh, on this vehicle. And this is a place that I've been to all too often. A little bit too far to the right, the ball hangs. You get it a border to left, the ball goes through the nose or Brooklyn. That just shows how difficult these conditions are for these bowlers, though. And it's been that way the entire week. Oh, he picks up the spare, but now the door is wide open for Doug Kent. Doug can put a great deal of pressure on Lonnie Wallachek. Doug leading by 35, bowling here in the seventh. Tournament is his. All he has to do is step through the door and make good shots. How good was that, Ron? That was a big time shot. He stood up to the challenge. Kent playing a little bit further right than Lonnie Wallachek. His ball reaction's better. Reminder coming up next, today, battle huh? lines. Ali Frazier won. That was today. quite a battle. That'll be coming up next right here on ESPN. Or log on to ESPN.com. That's the situation right now. Lonnie Wallachek in a 35 pin hole, but Doug Kent can add to it. He can go up by 45. That's great. Here's a hook. Get over. Get over. Still coming. Still coming. Stop short. Doug Kent's ability will, would allow him to play where Lonnie Wallachek is playing. He can throw the ball. He, he can play the big hook ball. He can get in there with the big mm -hmm. boys and really arc it. But you know what? He decided to play further right, and right now it's paying dividends. Maybe to the tune of 120,000 to the right. dividends. Well, he doesn't like one of the pins. It's leaning to the right, he said. So now they're going to have to go out and check it. See if he gets the re-rack. There it is, he's right. Well, it's sitting on the board. You can see the just on the seam of the board there. And it is leaning to the right. Well, it needs to be respotted. A little worn spot there in the back end part of the lane. And a lot of times that's what happens with wood lanes when they go to get resurfaced. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the resurfacing job isn't quite as even as you would like. Mm -hmm. All the mechanics, a hand comes out, puts it down. <laughs> <laughs> Modern technology. Modern technology. Oh. Smiley face does it again. A spare in the eighth for Doug Kent, holding on to that 35 pin advantage. Lonnie Wallachek can strike out eighth, ninth, and tenth to shoot 203. Doug Kent going at a 208 pace. This is where Doug Kent said that, you know, confidence of, of already winning a Masters back in 1991. He said, being in this situation, when it comes down to the eighth, ninth, and tenth, that is where it pays off. But Lonnie Wallachek must strike. Good shot there. Never give it up. Now, get this one in the ninth, and we'll see what happens. You at least, as is, is, uh, you know, Johnny Petrager was saying, no, no gimmies, no freebies. No gimmies, no freebies. Not for the championship, the world championship title. 
Seven pin, the last one to go down. Make him work for it. Strike in the ninth frame. This match is still up for grabs. But Lonnie Wallachek must strike here. Open for a break. You see the reaction of Amy, his wife. That's been frustrating for him. Lonnie, if Lonnie makes his spare, he could strike out in the 10th frame to shoot 183. All Doug Kent has to do is mark with good count in one of the two remaining frames. Well, he does pick up the spare. Hey, but you know what? We talked about it, the grind, the conditions, That's how right. difficult it is. There's no freebies here, no gimmies. You got to make the shots you need to make to win. Nothing's free. And the pressure has just been building on Lonnie. He has had such an excellent run this week, but now it shifts over to Doug Kent. Doug knows the situation he's in, but he has to feel a tad more comfortable right now, holding on to that advantage. Ooh, and you saw right there what happens yep. with pressure on this pattern, this lane condition, almost leaving the 2 8 10. Got a great yeah. break there. This is no give me spare either. We've seen guys miss it the entire week. He still has the advantage. Needs a mark here in the ninth. <sighs> Ali Frazier coming up straight ahead on battle lines, immediately following our telecast from Toledo. Doug makes this, all he has to do is keep it on the lane in the 10th frame, he's your winner. Oh, baby. Well, that's the big sigh of relief for Doug Ken, who's just moments away from being crowned world champion. That's all he needs, folks. Four pins to shut out Lonnie Wallachek, and $120,000 will be his. World championship will be his. And he says if he wins it, the confidence will go up about two or three notches. This ball should be straight and hard right down the middle of the lane. Down the oh, he needed four. He got ten. We've got our world champion for 2002. It is Doug Ken as he is defeated Lonnie Wallachek. We'll be back to Toledo right after this.